Welcome back to Gold Fries. It's about 6 a.m. right now and I haven't slept. So this video is something of a last minute nature, not part of the to-do list, but I decided to add on simply because some people have requested it. Yes, after Gamers Nexus claim to have discovered some new behavior in the Zen tree regarding memory configuration, some people have commented or at least requested that I do a video on that. 2 dim versus 4 dim. In that video at 8 minute and 34 seconds, Steve said, it's entirely to do with Zen Tree's new memory behaviors. So with that, I did my test and here are the results. Sure enough, running 4 sticks of 8 gigabytes definitely shows better performance than 2 sticks of 8 gigabytes. Both are running at 3200 MHz CL16 based on XMP and yes, the 4 sticks has faster performance. However, the results that you saw just now is not from a Zen 3. It's actually from a Ryzen 5 3600 XT. So this is nothing new actually. Tom's hardware had reported the same finding last year and even Hardware Unbox has published a video of the same thing yesterday showing the same thing. Even the 3000 series which is Zen 2 exhibits the same behavior. Nothing new. And since we're at this topic, I did manage to reach out some, to some good people and secured a uh, two sticks of 16 gigabyte kit. Yes, two by 16. I'm running two by eight, four by eight. And so with this, I added a two by 16 setup. Fortunately, I could get the sticks. Therefore, I can publish today. I could have published it yesterday, but I did manage to get today. So yes, two by 16, that's nice. I was hoping to test I was hoping that those kits would be um, dual rank and unfortunately those are single rank but I guess it's okay it's, it would help us prove another point so now back to my results here's my results with the Ryzen 5 3600 XT and as always I'm on the RTX 3070 SG from Galax and I'm running at 1080p with max details because I'm not in the business to run low resolution or low details just to amplify the difference. I intend to show realistic setup. In my setup, the 2x8 and 4x8 configuration are using the XPG D60 kits. So I've done what I can to ensure that the sub timings are the same across the benchmarks so uh, as much consistency is maintained. Then um, just to inform you that the D60G kits, those are we're using uh, different memory chips. One is using a Hynix, the other one is using a Samsung. As for the 2x16 setup, it's from OCPC and the chip is using Micron. Timings and sub-timings based on the other two. Moving on to the Ryzen 5 5600X chart, the pattern is the same where the 4 stick setup is faster than the 2 sticks single rank setup. I'm not the best person to explain all these technical details, but what I can summarize to you is that the performance increase is due to the additional ranks. So what happens is with the additional ranks, it allows for the memory interleaving. Four single rank setup is better than two single rank setup. In this case, my 2x8 and 2x16 setups are two single rank setups. To match with a four stick single rank setup, you can look for two dual rank setup. Yes, there are 16, those are 16 gigabyte dims, I mean per stick that is, that can have dual dual rank. However, single rank 16 gig kits like what I have right now, I'm sorry for the confusion sometimes. I would just want to say, actually I should just say 2 by 16 kits. That's the better way. So the 2 by 16 kits, um, many of them are single rank right now. So you might have to hunt around or discuss with people what they have. They can use the software to check. And here's a screenshot over at Laoyat Forum discussion of which uh, this person with the nickname NRW has kindly listed some, I believe is crucial ballistic RAM with the models with the rank configuration. Kudos to that guy for showing these details. Also note that my motherboard is a pre-production model ASRock X570 Taiji that has T topology memory trace configuration. While to what I know is that most X570 boards in the market are daisy chain and how this impacts performance may vary. So with that, I'm done with my comparison, which I spent quite a bit of time to get it done. And I hope you guys like this. And if you like more contents like this, 
as always, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, don't hit too hard, the bell might be heard. Just a gentle hit on the notification bell so you can know um, what's coming up or what I have published. And this week onwards, it'll be very busy because a new toy has just arrived in the lab. Actually, there's many new toys. One of them of which is, uh, I think you guys know what it is. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.